Hello everyone and welcome back to Space Engineers. Now I just want to address the audio quality of this video. You can probably tell that my voice sounds a lot clearer than before. This is because I'm using my new microphone which is a Blue Snowball Ice. Now this sounds a lot better than my old phone microphone that I was using. So this is going to be my new microphone for the foreseeable future. Now today I'm going to be going over the Azimuth Power Mod. Now this is a combination of reactors and a couple of batteries and these have very, very high output levels of power. So, let's get started with the smaller variants. So this is the Azimuth Fusion Reactor Tiny 2 Point. Now 2 points means it has 2 conveyor points. Now this is the 6 point version. This has exactly the same power output of 1.5 megawatts, but it has 6 conveyor points. So, these are both one block in size and there are larger variants over there which I'll go over later but you can see they look pretty cool I, I love the amount of uh, time that's gone into rendering these and every small detail is there and I just think they look really really nice now this is the azimuth battery now this has a power capacity of 3.24 megawatt hours and it has a maximum power output of 12.96 megawatts so it has slightly more power output than the normal sized large battery which is pretty insane considering this is for a small ship. Now I'll go over the large ship version soon but that large ship version has much much more power than the normal vanilla battery and this has just a bit more so it's amazing really that this is a small grid block and it has more power output than a large grid battery and just look at the size of it. I really like these bars and the, these bars light up the more the battery is charged so if this battery was fully charged all four bars would be lit up and uh, yeah it, it's just uh, really adds to the cool kind of green aesthetic of this mod pack. Now this is the V8, this is a, a V8 engine as you can see and this has a maximum power output of 25 megawatts. I assume this is uh, designed primarily for vehicles as the name V8 would imply and you can see it has the appearance of a V8, it even has the exhausts or it has these uh, green parts in it which I think really look cool it's very kind of alien, kind of futuristic and uh, it gives off the impression that it's kind of radioactive you know it's using uranium in there which uh, this is powered by all of these reactors apart from the battery even the ones over there apart from the battery all run off uranium so you don't need, you don't need to worry about modded fuels or anything so that's pretty nice. Now, yeah, I just really like the look of this. It just looks really cool, the glowing green. And yeah, 25 megawatts is a lot of power for a small ship, so this is a really good choice if, you're, if you have a vehicle and you want to add some more detail and have power at the same time. Now, moving on, this is the Azimuth Reactor. Now, this has a maximum power output of 29.5 megawatts, and it has two conveyor points for a vehicle or a ship so it's pretty easy to convey it and this is 3x3x3 three by three by three, so it's the same dimensions as a large reactor and if you look um, you can see azimuth reactor and if I go in the, in in the inventory you'll see it has 125 litres of storage so you can get quite a lot of uranium in there so it's just a very nice uh, fairly compact for the power output reactor now moving on this is an even more compact version and it produces more power. This produces a whopping 45 megawatts. That is a lot for a small vehicle or a small ship in general. And you see this actually has a smaller footprint than the larger counterpart. This also only has one conveyor point so you may have more difficulty placing it somewhere but I just think this one looks really cool. This is probably my favorite one in the whole pack. Then this isn't 3x3x3, three by three by three. this is 3x3x2. Three by three by so this is smaller, this is about 33% smaller, and it has a much, much larger power output. Now, this is the largest power output of anything small in this mod. This has 50 megawatts of power output, and you can see uh, this is slightly different to the V8 over there. This is actually called the V8 Turbo, and I think this one looks just as nice, although uh, I actually think I prefer the look of that one. But, nevertheless, this is pretty cool and it has twice the power output of the normal V8. Now moving on to the larger counterparts, now you can see this is the azimuth battery larger version. 
This has a maximum power output of 36 megawatts, and this has the same bars as the smaller version, and uh, it's just like a, a taller version of the small ship variant. Now, the maximum stored power of this is 9 megawatt hours, so that is about three times the, the stored power of a normal battery, which is the same size. So, this is a really good solution for storing power, and uh, you can see visually how depleted it is. I know the default batteries have uh, a small uh, four lights on them, but this is uh, easier to see, and I just think it looks way, way cooler. Now, moving on, this is the Azimuth Fusion Reactor uh, tiny version 2 point. So this is the larger version of the first one over there. And you can see this also has two conveyor points and that one, which is the 6 point version, has six conveyor points. Now these both have a maximum power output of 45 megawatts. So that is a lot of power and that is well over, that, that is three times the amount of power that the normal um, small reactor produces so it's pretty cool and uh, obviously I've just been over this but you can see this actually has a slightly different look this is white around the edges I'm not sure if that's a rendering issue um, or it's meant to be part of it I think it's meant to be part of it I just think it, that looks quite cool now this is the azimuth fusion reactor large now this has a maximum power output of 900 megawatts which is three times the power output of the 3x3x3 sized large reactor in the game and this is actually smaller so yeah this is 3x3x2 that is the same size as the normal reactor in the game and I will get to that in a minute so yeah this also like the smaller version has one conveyor point at the back and that's how you can access it so I can imagine this like against a wall for example or something so I, I just think it looks really really cool now this is the azimuth reactor. Now this has a maximum power output of 7.9 gigawatts. So this is over 20 times the power output of the normal large reactor. Now that is insane for something that uses up the same amount of space and uh, just, in my opinion, looks way cooler. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much, uh, that pretty much sums up all the reactors and the power sources and stuff. But you can also see this green glow from all of these reactors. Now, I really like this. You can imagine this in a big engineering room with uh, quite dim lights, it's just glowing green like this. And uh, if this is switched off, it glows red. And I think that looks really cool as well. So, like the normal reactors, it goes yellow when it's got no uranium in it, but it's switched on. Red when you have it switched off, and green when you have uranium in it and it's switched on. And it will be the same with this one, this one, this one, and that one. And all of these. So, this is a really nice pack. I will leave it in the description so you guys can check it out. So, yeah. That concludes my overview of the Azimuth Power Mod Pack. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing for more content. Now, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Just to clarify, because uh, I haven't said that in any previous videos. So, yeah. Thank you everyone for watching. Goodbye.